but there's enough. Yeah. There's, there's enough. Yeah. Yeah. It seems unlikely that the change the bar yeah, in Massachusetts. So you'll hold our nominee. But what I'm by John Baviar. So, I'm from Germany. The big thing for us is ballot access. Um, so we feel we've, we, we've demonstrated the fact that we're not going away and deserve a break. Um, and I'm looking like a lot more of our friends are going to get elected. Um, Hi, I'm Bill Redpath. I'm the national chairman of the Libertarian Party, or check, technically chairman of the Libertarian National Committee. If I haven't actually added it up myself, Richard Winger said that um, uh, the bar route ticket will be on the ballot in front of 95% of the voters of the United States. That will be more than any presidential candidate, with the exception, of course, of Obama and McCain. Uh, we have more candidates running for public office this year than any other minor party, again, by far. Uh, and uh, the Libertarian Party continues to be the most vibrant uh, minor political party uh, in the United States. This is New Hampshire politics, and I can't believe that some people are so disconnected from this. What is this one or two people in the state house? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in the state house a lot. I'm, I am addicted to the cheapest form of entertainment, unless you count taxes, that we have anywhere, okay? We don't have one or two libertarians in the state house. Where have you people been? Not sitting in the committee meetings I've been sitting in. Have you been to the Science and Technology Committee? There's some radicals in there. Who's this Dick Berry guy? Who's this? We, we, we have people who are for guns and dope. These people get it. So. <laughs> I'm so happy that we have real libertarians running. Now we have this beautiful thing where we have no straight ticket and we have fusion. We have R plus L's running. We have L plus L's running. Things look great. And what I've seen from the Liberty Alliance is we can have candidates. We can have them win. And I, I fully support the idea that just laying a brick on another and keeping the people that are coming forward to us is what's going to make it happen. Everyone got two bumper stickers and a request for money for lawn signs. The lawn signs, my campaign put in money as well. We put in, your state raised about half of that in my campaign in total put in $1,000. And there are now lawn signs out there for myself, for Ken Blevins, for Sue Newell, for Bob Kingsbury, for Chet LaPointe. And lawn signs really do have an effect. Number three. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> now I want to give you one last thought. The way our elections work, as a practical matter, there are two major parties. But there's no law that determines, no natural law of politics, what those parties are. And we have a wonderful opportunity. We have a wonderful opportunity because a few years ago, the Republican Party launched a new type of invasion. They invaded the bottom corner of the Nolan chart, the authoritarian corner. And if you look at where their congressmen are, where their candidates are, they're starting to lurk more and more only down there where we can push them off the bottom. Bob Barr and Wayne Allen Root was the presidential ticket that was nominated by the National Convention of the Libertarian Party. And I ask you to support the Barr Root ticket. Uh, they have a shot, and I think uh, they will, uh, if I had to predict, I think they will set an all-time record in terms of popular votes uh, for a Libertarian Party presidential ticket. Uh, and I think the best thing that you can do uh, for the interests of the Libertarian Party, both here in New Hampshire and across the nation, uh, is to vote uh, bar root with your presidential vote uh, on Election Day. I make another example. I use the example of Ireland and the fact that the English government could never take over Ireland. Do you know why? Because there was no centralized government. It was simply clans. That was the whole basis of the United States. And states' rights was not to have a powerful central government. So the states would control and finally the people would control. I tell everybody when I go out on, on in campaigning and so forth, do you want a free government or do you want a free people? If you want a free government, vote Democratic or Republican. If you want a free people, vote for a Libertarian. Thank you very much. There are things happening. Uh, the people are so flux in a state of flux that an awful lot of things could happen in the next 10 days. I think the Libertarian Party is in a major position 
to be the recipient of a lot of goodwill in the next 10 days, and it might, and it could show up on voting day. One thing that I know that some of the um, Republican-friendly um, people are doing is, and I think it's a great idea, I'd love to see, see us do this um, all over the state, is put out a handmade sign at the polls that say, Kenny can't win, vote Libertarian, we need 4%. Um, I don't know how much effect that's going to have, but that's certainly the message that not enough of the Republicans um, are going to say, well, I don't want to waste my vote. In this race, it's not a waste. <laughs> You're not going to win. Vote Libertarian instead. And that's very, very important. It, I'm just going to urge everybody, if, if you, any way you can run for anything that you can get elected to, it's very important. This is what we have to do. If we're going to be a political party, we need people to run for anything. Just get elected. It's just so important. Uh, I think that us being a third party, and being the outsiders to the system, that it's very important that we inspire people. I think it's, I think it's important that we give them something that's different. Uh, I've been really disappointed to see some of the other pro-liberty candidates out there making statements like, I want to only grow the government by the rate of inflation, or, you know, no sales or income tax, let's just keep things the way they are. Um, I think that we can do a whole lot better than that. You, you can get that anywhere. If we're going to really make, get ourselves noticed, if we're going to change people's minds in the long term, we've got to be a little bit more bold, a little bit more willing to step up and show them that we've got something different here. We've got a product that you need to look at. Um, so yeah, I'm in a West Manchester, that's wards 10, 11, and 12, um, which if all goes well, may be the, the most pro-liberty uh, district in the, that gets sent to Concord. Uh, uh, it, is a, it is a very tough race. Uh, we figure there of the eight seats, four are actually competitive. Um, but like I said, if I don't win, it means guys like Keith and Joel and Tammy and Phil get elected. So I, I'll sleep just fine. Thank you. New Hampshire liberty activist who has uh, really stood out doing a great job for the cause of um, libertarianism here. And um, the, so the XCOM chose this year's winner. Um, that I'll just, it's, it's Rich Tommaso. We really owe him a great debt this year. I have the results of our of the XCOM election. So for chair, your new vice, uh, your new chair of the LPNH is going to be Philip Hodson. Ooh. Your new first district. Oh, sorry. Thank you. God help us. <laughs> Vice Chair will be Don Converse. Your new Second District Vice Chair will be Dennis Goddard. Your new Treasurer will be Kathleen Converse, who is the most popular member based on the votes. Your new Secretary will be Faith Cook. The Judicial Committee will be John Babiars, Tom Kershaw, and Chris Madden. Will be Ryan Marvin, Brendan Kelly, and Kathleen Converse.